Hon gni. Hello everybody, is there anyone already there? I can see Joanna joined. Ciao Joanna and Anant. Hey guys, no it's Hedwig, no it's Anant. It's people, it's Anant. Cool. Hello Ethno World. The Estonian workshop is about to start. It's about to start very soon. I'm very happy to be here, extremely happy to be here. Let's just wait for a few minutes and I'll talk some gibberish in the meantime. Happy Easter, everybody! Jesus has risen for some people who don't celebrate Easter. Just spring has risen, spring is here. Uh, yes, I have to get uh, one more thing, I'll be back in a second. So now I'm back and we are almost ready to start. Four more minutes. Can you hear me? You can write in the comment if you comments if you hear me. Just in case to make sure. We tested it earlier, but you know you never know. You never know. Nice. Can everybody hear me? Please say something in the comments. They can, hopefully. So I'm gonna do the uh, advertisement for the next sessions as well. I'll do it in the end one more time too. So tomorrow there will be a Belgian folk musician whose name is Wim Clays. I'm not sure if I pronounced it all right. But uh, he plays the diatonic accordion and also fiddle and sack pipa and blues harp. So it's definitely going to be a very, very interesting workshop tomorrow as well uh, by this Belgian guy named Wim Klaes. Uh, and today we are going to learn uh, some Estonian music. Yoo it's going to be very crazy and very weird. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a song for you people. Um, and two minutes, I want to be uh, very tight on the schedule, you know, like in Ethnos, you got to keep your schedule. So let's just wait for a f two more minutes and then we can start. I can already um, start telling you about the tune, uh, the song. I will teach you uh, two things, one song and one tune. The song is, um, is a funny, funny song. It's very short, as you can see. Um, it's uh, from the Siberian Estonians. So Siberian Estonians are Estonians who moved there in the end of 19th century after 1850s. The Russian emperor uh, started like this campaign that uh, he would give free land without any taxes to a lot of people who would go and move to Siberia because Siberia is a very rich uh, land by resources, but completely empty, still kind of empty nowadays even. Uh, so uh, he, yeah, he gave away a lot of land and a bunch of Estonians went to live in Siberia. Uh, they weren't forced to go live there back then. That was after Second World War when things got uglier. But anyway, these people who lived there were very happy because all of a sudden they all got all this free land. And they could live there, and they um, they were able to uh, to yeah start their farms, become sort of rich, and also to uh, you know be Estonians because there were still Estonian schools there in Siberia, and still a lot of like uh, uh, Estonian churches, Estonian uh, they could talk their language, they could keep everything going on. Also, after the workshop, I will uh, post some links in the comments uh, that where you can listen to this uh, Estonian recording, original recordings that were made in the beginning of uh, 2000s. Or no, this one is actually recorded in 1994 when Estonian uh, folklorists went to Siberia to uh, record these 
people who still live there and still like are living in this uh, village culture. Uh, so yeah, this is the song. I will sing it to you uh, twice and then we can start learning the lyrics and then we can start learning uh, the melody. So it's seven o'clock exactly now. I hope you're ready. <coughs> Let me hear your voice, although I can't hear it, but do some la 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 so you can hear yourself. Mm. Okay, so I will sing this crazy song for you. Do -do -do. One, two, three. Minu kelle ja taks ja saapad ja alas niks ja naks ja saapad ja algas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paaruski, sest moines naius paaruski. Minu kelle ja taks ja saapad ja algas niks ja naks ja saapad ja algas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paaruski, sest moines naius paaruski. Yes, this is the tune. Uh, I will translate it to you first. If I'm doing everything uh, too fast or whatever, just let me know in the comments. I can see you. I have my laptop right here. So, um, yes, I hope you like it. So, the song is about... Um, sort of gibberish. The first line is that my clock in my pocket was doing tick and tuck. Or like just this sound, tick tock sound, you know. And my boots on my feet, they made nicks ja nucks. You know, when you walk, your your boots make like this <coughs> sounds. Yes. And the second verse is you have to say pasalusti or actually Pajalusta, which is in Russian. So this is like this weird uh, way of writing Estonian uh, or writing Russian words down in es with Estonian uh, letters, because usually in Russia they use Cyrillic, right? But uh, this is like a funny song. So the second verse says, you have to say Pajalusti, which means please in Russian. So you have to say please, because moines naius paruski, which means uh, because I cannot speak Russian. I don't know any Russian. So you have to say please because I can't speak any Russian. So this is the lyrics. Um, you will, uh, when it's very good if you ever should go to Russia and you can't speak any Russian, you can just sing them this song and they will understand the last lyrics and they will all be very happy and welcoming to you because you are saying that you can't speak any Russian, but at least you know how to say this now, right? So that's a good thing. So let's try with the pronunciation. The first verse is, uh, the first row. Minu kel, your turn. Minu kel. One more time. Minu kel, minu kel. Tegi taskus. Tegi taskus. Minu kell tegi taskus. Tiks ja taks. Okay, let's try. So, minu kell tegi taskus. Tiks ja taks. Simple quite, huh? One more time. Minu kell Tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. Are you good with this, uh, this sentence? I hope so. We can go uh, to the next sentence. Ja saapad. Ja saapad. Jalgas, niks ja naks. Ja saapad, jalgas, niks ja naks. Ja saapad, jalgas, niks ja naks. So this is the first verse. Um, are you okay with it? I hope you are. Let's try to say the whole sentence. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. Ja saapad, jalgas, niks ja naks. 
Okei, okay, one more time. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. I will sing now the first uh, verse uh, with the melody or the first sentence. Starts from D. Mm. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. All together, minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. One, two, three. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. Three more times. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. One, two, three. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. One last time. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. Are you okay with this sentence? I hope so. Se- second, uh, second line. Ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. Ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. One, two, three. Ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. <laughs> oh, it's such a funny song. I start laughing myself all the time. <laughs> okay, so one more time. The second line, or three more times. Ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. One, two, three. Ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. One, two, three. Ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. Woohoo! You learned the first verse. I am very proud of you. Is everyone doing okay? Is it too fast? Are you okay with all the lyrics? Estonian is quite easy, right? It's phonetic. You pronounce everything like you write it. So let's try uh, the whole first verse. I will sing it once and then we'll repeat it many times, okay? Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. On, two, three. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. One, two, three. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. Okay, and now we continue with this amazing thing that is in every Estonian song, that there is something that repeats, which is this uh, line, that I also made this wavy line under it. So this sentence repeats uh, with a different melody. So the second melody for this line is Ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks And you can really sing with your chest voice like you mean it, you know? So uh, one more time, the second uh, melody Ja saapad jalgas niks ja ja naks You can slow down there a bit if you want to to make it sound more powerful you don't have to. You can also just keep the tempo. Anyway, one more time. Ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks. Okay. I think we can try the whole first verse. One, two, three. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks. Saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. And one more time. Minu kell tegi taskus, tiks ja taks. Ja saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. Saapad jalgas, niks ja naks. Also, um, when you hear that I'm singing and sometimes I breathe in while saying the word, that is something that is very common when you sing Estonian songs because there is no place for breathing really and when people sing it 
they always sing it like together and they breathe whenever they need so when i'm doing it alone it's quite hard because if i breathe i will uh, stop the melody so i breathe in with the lyrics so uh, you can try that too or you can just keep singing and breathe wherever you want so one last time the first verse and then we learn the second verse okay i hope it's okay if it's not let me know in the comments i'm so happy to see you all here so first verse one more time Minu kell tegi taskust iks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Minu kell tegi taskust iks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Okay. This is the first verse. The second verse is which with exactly the same melody. So now we just need to uh, learn the lyrics. So first the pronunci pronunciation. Peab ütlema. So this is an ü. This is u with dots. So it's ü. Like when you see someone who is really pretty on the street, you can go like ü. You know, this is this lyric uh, letter. So ü. Peab ütlema. One, two, three. Peab ütlema basalusti. So, you, I mean, Russians pronounce it basalusta, but that's like much more complicated. So just do the Estonian uh, version. Basalusti. <laughs> it's very funny. If there were, are any Russians uh, watching this, I hope you are having fun with my very bad Estonian Russian because it's super funny for native Russian speakers. So, um, first line again. Peab ütlema basalusti. Peab ütlema basalusti. Let's do it together. Peab ütlema basalusti. And the second line. Sest mui nies naius paruski. So ruski is clear, right? Ruski means uh, Russian, but pa is like speaking the language. So sest mui nies naius nies naius paruski. Okay. One more time. Sest mui nies naius Paruski. Let's try the whole second verse. Peab ütlema basalusti, sest moi nies naius paruski. You can really send me videos after this workshop how you're singing this. I would love to listen to your uh, Estonian and Estonian Russian, which is like super funny. <laughs> okay, so. Peab ütlema basalusti, sest moi nies naius paruski. And just to make it clear, um, this means please in Russian. And because I don't speak Russian, so you have to say I'm sorry when you go to Russia. But now you know how to tell them that you can't speak any Russian. So the whole verse, one more, st one more time with only the pronunciation. Peab ütlema basalusti, sest moines naius paruski. I see more people joined. Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to see you uh, watching me teaching you this. So the whole melody now with the second verse. Listen first, I will sing it slowly and then we can do it many times together. D. Mm. Peab ütlema. Ütlema basalusti, sest moi nies naius paruski, sest moi nies naius paruski. Kolm, neli, peab ütlema basalusti, sest moi nies naius paruski, sest moi nies naius paruski. One, two, one, two, three. Peab 
Ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski, sest moines naius paruski. And really sing it out loud like it's the funniest and most joyful song ever. Um, these are all like Siberian Estonian songs are either really, really sad or really, really, uh, really, really happy. B flat, you say, so chat. I think maybe I went out of tune. So let's try one more time. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski. Sest moines naius paruski. So yes, this uh, line always repeats. The one with the wavy one. So how are you with the second... Uh, Second uh, line. Do you want to try the whole song? You can write me something here. I am super happy that you're all watching me here. Really. It makes my heart break. Any comments? No? Then I'll just sing the whole song. Uh, slowly first and let's try to go faster. Okay, thank you uh, Isaac for telling that it's perfect. Let's go from the beginning. Minu kell tegi taskustiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski. Sest moines naius paruski. Ruski. From the top, minu kell tegi taskustiks ja taks. Saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. One, two, three. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski. Sest moines naius paruski. So this is the song and I love this kind of uh, very short songs because sometimes when I'm just walking outside with my friends or at a party or you know alone in the forest I get this urge to sing and then it's good to have something very short so you don't start bothering people and then um, you can just sing it very loud with your happy and joyful voice. So we can try to sing it one last time and I have this idea that uh, let's start out slow and sing like a few rounds and keep going faster and faster and faster because this is also something that we like to do a lot in Estonia to go faster and faster and faster. <laughs> so uh, let's try. Uh, and I will do like this when it's the last round, okay? Yes, Suchet, it starts with an upbeat. Very good. So... One, two, three. Minu kell tegi taskustiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas. Iks ja naks ja saapade jalgas, niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski, sest moines naius paruski. Minu kell tegi taskustiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski, sest moines naius paruski. Minu kell tegi taskustiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski, sest moines naius paruski. Minu kell tegi taskustiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski, sest moines naius paruski. Last time! Minu kell tegi taskustiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paruski, sest moines naius paruski. 
Vai ütle selle filmi, mis õppu peale, et see punane. I will be back in a sec. <laughs> oh my god, it's very fast. Said <laughs> Turkish. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. My uh, camera does some tricks sometimes, but it's uh, working now again. So this is the song. And uh, you learned it. Let's learn now the violin tune. Or actually, it's not the violin tune. It's, um, it's a good tune. I will be telling you about this tune now. I will put this away. So I have more room to play. Okay, uh, so next thing we're going to... Uh, it was so fast, the video crashed. <laughs> nice. Yes, it is. Uh, you can uh, try to fa say it fast too, but it's like you just have to move your mouth a lot and be uh, aware of the lyrics. If you have it by heart, then it's much easier to say, uh, sing it fast. So practice, my friends. Okay, but the next tune I'm going to teach is a very, very crazy tune, in my opinion. It's... Uh, from the western part of uh, Estonia, it's from the seaside, a uh, place called Lana Nikula, which is near Hapsalu, which are two very small places <laughs> next to the sea. And uh, it is a Jew harp tune. You know, this, this instrument is actually uh, played on this. And the cool thing about this is that like 100 and 200 years ago, when uh, Estonians had like village parties in the summer and where young people gathered and danced all night long, then um, a lot of times there was just one musician playing for them to dance. Only one, not like a band. Maybe sometimes it was a duo, but most of the time it was just one person playing and playing for hours. And, uh, and uh, it could be even one little kannel which is like this very quiet instrument or, or this Jew harp, which is even more quieter. And, you know, imagine like 40, 50, 60 people dancing only with, uh, with uh, one Jew harp playing. So it had to be very good. And these players were very rhythmical. And uh, I can share you the links to the original recordings after about uh, these uh, from the songs. You so you can listen to how they were played by the uh, old the village musicians a long time ago. Uh, like the original players uh, yes and this tune is actually one of the fastest so it's another fast tune if I should ever do this workshop thing again I will next time do some slow and sad songs but right now I <laughs> will continue with the fast one so it is one of the fastest uh, flatfoot Laba Jalg it's the Estonian dance that is on one but you can also count it on three so it's like one two three one two three all the beats are very the same they're all equal Da 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 da. Um, I will play it to you a few rounds. You can listen to it, and then and then we can um, and then I'll start teaching. So oh, and the name of this uh, tune is A Blinna Isandate Lugu, which means A Blin is like a town. And um, it doesn't mean town, but it's like a name of a town. And Isandat are like the masters. So it's the tune of the town masters. Something like that. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is the tune. Uh, it's quite simple, but it has a few tricks. Um, so first of all, it's um, it's weird because it has this Lydian dominant scale, G Lydian dominant. So it has two notes that are weird and not from the G major uh, key at all. I will play you the scale and you can try to play it with me on your instrument or sing with me uh, together. So it starts on G and the uh, uh, weird notes are that instead of F sharp you have F and instead of C you have C sharp. So listen. I will uh, play it uh, one more time, only the scale, so try to sing it uh, with, uh, with me. So this is the uh, the scale, the seven notes. Uh, but yeah, I'll start teaching the tune. So the first A part is like this. And now I will uh, break it into parts. Listen to the first uh, first part. So. One, two, three. Starts on D. One, two, three. One, two, three. One last time. How are you with this line? Is it okay? Can we keep going? Do you want a few more times? Da da di da di ya di da da. You can comment if it's too fast or or too tricky. Okay, cool. Let's go on with the next uh, line. It also, also starts on C sharp, so we were uh, we got here now. And now it goes. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is the two lines uh, of the uh, A part, basically, and then it sort of repeats. I will put these two together. Listen, I will play slow. So the first line and the second line. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, 
One, two, three. <laughs> We can do it more. One, two, three. Ah, I messed up, I'm sorry. One more time. The first line. One, two, three. Then it repeats twice the same line, um, and then it's just another ending. I'll play it to you. This is the whole eight part, basically. <laughs> like this da, da, da. this is the whole eight part let's try to play it for a few rounds okay if something is uh, confusing or if you don't understand just let me know in the comments I will help okay and play slower or whatever is the A part. Are you ready to uh, go on to the B part? Are you? Or are you not? Someone can say something? I hope you are. I will keep going then. So the B part starts on G and it starts with two G's again. So listen. One, two, three. This is the basic <laughs> whole B part, or like the first uh, part. So one more time. One, two, three. line also repeats with the second ending and this is the whole stone a whole tune so listen how it repeats so 
in the end, instead of going back to G, you do just A, G, B, and to the A part. So let's try to loop the whole B part now um, with the two different endings and a few times. Okay? U, ka, ko, ka, ka, ko. I think we can try to play the whole tune now. Uh, let's do it slowly first, and then I will teach you a little trick that is uh, very Estonian to do. And then uh, we can try to play it a bit faster as well. I hope you're all doing all right. And uh, I can also share notes for this song later if, uh, if someone was not sure about something. Okay, so let's try. From the beginning. I'll play slowly one whole turn and then you can join me in the next round. I will just keep playing for like three or four, uh, three or four circles, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> like it in my opinion it's a very crazy and weird tune but it's because of the harmonics and the scale of the two harp and it's especially cool when it when you play it very fast because then you sort of almost lose the feel of three because it's like one two three one two three one two three and you start only feeling the first beat so you can do a lot of like time signature stuff with this tune it's uh it's very very crazy so um, do you want to try it a bit faster? I'm ready. Are you ready? That's the question. 
I think we can try to do it a bit faster. So, uh, oh, I was supposed to show you the trick uh, that how to connect the A and B part in a very Estonian way. So in Estonian music, uh, folk music, we have got this thing called Le Kajus, which is basically uh, like a syncopation thing. So when the A part ends here, and the P part also starts with G. So instead of playing four Gs like this, you can do like that you pull there one long note instead of this uh, little eight notes all the time. Listen again. So uh, this is the legaios. So on the beat you will uh, fall like with the long note. I will do it every time. I will do it once when I go from A to B. Listen. One, two, three. It's like da, so you fall on the first uh, beat. Okay, let's go faster, Durgeshes, and also I think Kupi is ready for some fast la So let's do it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, lot of little improvisations like with the melody like for example instead of playing like da, da, e, da, you can play da, ga, da, e, uh, or just do like more little faster tricky rhythms there and you can try out the syncopation thing more everywhere basically where it fits and uh, this is the tune i hope you like it it's very uh, uh, challenging to come up with a harmony for it but it's possible and I really like Lydia and Dominant. This scale is very, uh, I think it sounds very like mysterious in a way. But uh, let's sing this uh, song about not speaking uh, Russian one more time. And I think this is, uh, and I think this is, this is uh, about it for my workshop. And I will share the links in the comments for this uh, original archive recording. So you can listen to this two harp playing. He plays super fast. It's crazy. It doesn't even... I mean, it sounds like this tune, but it sounds like so crazy. Okay, but let's sing this uh, Russian song again. Or Estonian song about Russian and about clocks. Mm. 
And if you have any questions, then you can... Uh, well, so chat, yeah, the, I mean, the chords can be like G and then basically F uh, augmented. You know, this chord with F, A and C sharp. But it sounds really weird. So usually I just play either F or D and you can... Uh, you can do with many drones because originally it's not played with the chords, you know, it's played on an instrument without any any chords, only like the harmonic drone that you get from Juharp. So it's up to you what kind of harmony you make. I usually play it with G and D and just use all the chords that are in the scale, like <laughs> yeah, G major, yes, they know <laughs> or uh, Isaac, but but also F uh, so it can be like G G G G G G G F F F and again and G G G G G G G G G F F F D and G. Yeah, exactly what Sushet wrote there. Um, I mean, really, just you can use all the diatonic chords that are in the scale. So in the uh, G Lydian scale, you have G, and then you have A major, then you have. Now you have B diminished, then you have then you have C sharp diminished, and then you have D minor, E minor, F augmented, and again G major. So these are not. Um, I mean, you only have like two major chords in the whole scale, so <laughs> it is definitely weird. But let's sing the tune now, and uh, this is like up to anyone how you want to use uh, the chords for this other tune. I like it with different drones, and I also like to make it sound crazy. And one thing that is really cool to do with this tune... Okay, I will play this too. Um, to play like second voices that are a perfect fifth up or down. So it's very easy to do on violin, also on other string instruments. Maybe not so easy on flutes or whatever, but you can try. So when the original melody is here. <laughs> then you can go start from A. Start on G and go to C, Lydian. And when you have like three violins playing all the three keys at the same time, it sounds like wow, it sounds like cosmos, man. It's crazy. But let's go to the song now. Do you remember? Let's do it one more time that we start very slowly and go faster, huh? I hope you can see the lyrics. And uh, and uh, then that will be the end of the workshop, I guess. Happy Easter, everybody. And let's sing it. We start slow. Minu kelde kiitos kustiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paaruski, sest moines naius paaruski. Minu kellegi taskus tiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paaruski, sest moines naius paaruski. Minu kellegi taskus tiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naius paaruski, sest moines naius paaruski. 
Minu kelle kedas kustiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naajus paaruski, et moines naajus paaruski. Minu kelle kedas kustiks ja taks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks ja saapade jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naajus paaruski, sest moines naajus paaruski. Minu kelle kedas kustiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naajus paaruski, sest moines naajus paaruski. Minu kelle kedas kustiks ja taks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks ja saapad jalgas niks ja naks. Peab ütlema passalusti, sest moines naajus paaruski, sest moines naajus paaruski. Yes! Amazing. Thank you so much, Ethno World, for this opportunity. Thank you, everybody, for coming here. Thank you, everybody, coming for coming here. You can write all the questions in the comments. I will answer for them. Uh, and thank you so much for learning these tunes with me. I had fun. I hope you did as well. I think these tunes are uh, very funny. And don't forget that tomorrow there's another Etno workshop. It's like, you know, quarantine Etno. Everybody is in Etno, but in their homes. So tomorrow there will be this guy named Wim Clays, and he's a Belgian musician uh, who can play many different uh, instruments. The, um, the main, uh, main, 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 his main instrument is the diatonic accordion, but he also plays fiddle, sack pipa, and blues harp. So let's see what's going to be there tomorrow, right? So um, I hope you enjoyed it, in spite of the technical uh, technical little things that happened. That was very short. Um, thank you so much, and I hope to see you again in real life and in the web life. Bye, my friends. I love you so much. Ciao, ethno people. Oh, the tune once more. Okay. Okay, the tune once more. Yes, thank you, Sushet. We have seven minutes until the end. So. But I might go faster now with this tune as well. I'll start slow and keep going faster. That's the, that's the no way, you know. <laughs> so, ah, oh, Blinda, he's handed the logo one more time. guys i'm gonna go now see you tomorrow or in three days <laughs>